staggering numbers. And that's what's obviously held them together defensively. It happened probably about two months ago, really, when they made a shift upstairs. And the jam! Keep an eye on Nadefo. Now matched up with Burns. Good step across just then by Williams. Let's on lead. Find the cutter. Rupert finishes four minutes of this one. Gut check time yep. down the stretch. St. Peter's and Murray State. Mid-major madness in effect in Indy. Drame playing with four fouls. Who's thinking about it? Eddard. Got a three! Baycott. 67 to 42, North Carolina. You know, it's interesting when you hear the matchup, North Carolina against St. Peter's in the NCAA tournament, you just assume is when you combine them. Purdue up by two. Three and a half to play. No 15 seed has ever been to the Elite Eight. Banks a hero in the first round. Drives in, spins, and scores. On a set like that, he's going to have offensive rebounding capability in case he misses it, but that's a pure stroke. One of effective player for North Carolina, stretching people out at the four spot. The cut drame of just to use their bodies and yeah, box out. You're absolutely right with the positioning and, and the ability to kind of hang around and put three or four guys on the glass defensively in particular. Right now it's 14-12 off the glass in favor of Murray State. Murray back in there for St. Peter's. The drive. St. Peter's with the basketball down by three. We hit the 11-minute mark of the second half. Remember, the Depo only played 11, uh, a minute and a half in that first half, so he should be fresh. I'd go, I'd have him isolate as he's doing right now. The Depo creating space. Pump fake and a deuce. There you go. Lee has been steady for St. Peter's. They're looking for someone to get it going offensively. Well, this is where that mid-range game comes back in with Edie on the floor. High screen, Rupert playing with those three fouls. Jumper, Lee. Cut at that 6'10", so a factor on both glasses where Purdue is very good with a plus 10 differential when it comes to rebounding. Eddard, got a three! Lee walks it across with Washington backing off a bit. Yeah, trying to speed them up a little bit. Nice backdoor cut. And there it is, rising up for the jet. St. Peter's with the lead. And the ball. Three minutes to go. There's the cut. Eddard the finish. You do know like the zone, though, because they're not allowing Wheeler to get his motor going towards the basket. We come up on one minute to play. Nadefo, one-on-one -on -one with Brooks, hands it for Lee. Bounce, Nadefo. Oh, pretty, pretty. Gives it up, Get the consistency, you know, three to five games before the postseason begins. Nadefo hands it off. Oh, uh, look at the traffic in there. Thanks. Kentucky fans wanted to travel. Officials felt the ball was tipped. Lee, the jumper is good. Matthew, four rebounds with 5.35 to play. First half. I'm thinking he's going to double-double again. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he gets fouled. Look at this. Slip to the rim. Rupert finishes. Still up by 23. We approach the 12-minute mark of this second half. Looking to get something going towards the basket with the right-handed dribbles. Swing. Catch and fire, drumming. Defo four fouls, Rupert with three. Purdue is five of six from the strike. Lee on the outside. Swing it. Corner. Gasher. Can't it for three. It's very familiar to me. I feel like I've seen that look before. You think, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Lee on the outside. Floated over to Banks. Line up the three, and he's got it. Put it on.